I see black women running from their race. Calypso History Month celebrates this country's noble art form and highlights how it emerged to become an integral part of Trinidad and Tobago's shared humanity and history. So says Tuco General Secretary Wayne MacDonald. Speaking at Tuco's annual gala and awards ceremony on Thursday, he said Calypso has always sought to educate the downtrodden and encourage them to rise above the depravity and adversity in which they existed. Whereas our colonial history books falsely chronicled our history as a relationship that primarily operated at the elite level. Calypso was able to bring a perspective that inherently articulated the thoughts and feeling of the lower class. With its subtle use of metaphors, irony, and masking, Calypso always put up resistance against the colonial hegemonic order. Mr. McDonald was pleased to note that after constant urging and appeals, the Ministry of Education has finally accepted the teaching of Calypso in schools. He said this is a transformational change if ever there was one. Calypso is our indigenous culture. And culture is the center at what holds us together as a people. And whenever the center collapses, then things fall apart. Therefore, culture is tied to our sustainability as a people. And without a strong center, we can face a turbulent future, stumbling into controversies and self-inflicted injuries. Dennis Hall, better known as Sprangalang, was among those awarded. He was honored for his distinguished contribution to art and culture. Lennox Francis, better known as Chicky Chong, Moses Exposer Monroe, Brother Alpha, Dr. Wilby and Lozana were honored for their long and devoted service to Calypso. Aaron Duncan received the Junior Calypso Achiever Award, while Colin Lucas and Marshall Montano received the Special Calypsonian Achiever Award. Dion Batiste Clark, TTT News.